Tanner Bybee just finishing up his warm-up pitches. He is ready to go today for Cleveland in this series finale against the Kansas City Royals. The Guardians with a chance to sweep the rain-shortened two-game set here this afternoon. Well, Tanner Bybee will be towing the rubber for the Guardians today. He's coming off four really nice starts, and uh, he is 4-1 on a year, making start number 13. And uh, this ball club, when he tows the rubber, they are 11-1 in his 12 starts so far. So let's hope that can continue today. And his first pitch is swung on and line past Jimenez. So that's a break the Royals need to turn into a run. That was hit right at Jimenez, but Garcia's on to begin the game. One ball, one strike on Witt. Bybee sets to the letters, delivers from the stretch. A fastball inside, back pick to first. It skips off Josh Naylor's mitt, trickles toward the dugout and rolls into it. Well, Garcia was on his way to second anyway, and now he's pointed toward third because the ball rolled out of play. And so an error puts Garcia on base, and now an error puts Garcia all the way to third. Runner third, nobody out. The payoff pitch. And got him swinging at a slider. Looked like he elevated that slider a little bit. And Bobby Witt Jr. is out number one. And now the infield comes all the way in with Vinny Pasquantino at the plate. And he's going to get that one up the right field line. And that will be down for another RBI. Brennan makes a strong throw from right. But Vinny saw the throw coming in. And he goes sliding to the inside of the bag, avoiding it out. And the Royals lead 1-0. Pasquatch doing the job. Believe it. Perez, look at that batting average. Third best in the league at 315. And he's batting 436 with runners in scoring position. Off the end of the bat to first, Josh Naylor will take it himself. Two down. Pasquantino moves to third. Again, the set and the 0-2. And strike three called on a slider. Fermin doesn't agree. Second strikeout for Tanner Bybee. Brady Singer pitched on this mound for the first time. In 2019 in the Futures game a year later he made his big league debut here. He almost threw a no hitter here later that year and the next season he threw his first major league complete game on this mound. Mm, let's hope those good positive vibes are transferring over to him to today. This is a big start. Stephen Kwan leads off the pitch swung on banged into right center. That's a base hit on the four seamer and Kwan has a leadoff single. How about Stephen Kwan? He missed almost a month with a hamstring, and he is six for 12 since coming back Friday night. Here's Andre Jimenez batting 271, four homers, 33 RBIs. Right to third, it goes off the glove of Garcia in the shallow left. Kwan thought about it, but he'll hold right there at second base. So two on, nobody out, and here comes Jose Ramirez. This will be the eighth pitch of the at bat. It's up high, ball four, and the bases are loaded with nobody out. And now you've got another guy that's doing major damage in the middle of the lineup, Josh Naylor. He bats with the bases loaded. It's the pitch swung on, double play ball to short. Witt has it. Nobody got to second. He'll throw to first. He'll get the out. Game tied. Quan scores. Jimenez to third. Naylor to first. Hampson never got close to second base. So that Bobby Wood could try and start a double play. Oh my, is that a killer? And it's another mistake. And both teams here in this first inning, not very sharp defensively. Second and third, one out. Witt will come home with the throw. And he is out at the plate. Brady Singer is about to make his 23rd pitch in inning number one. Sinker flick toward left center field. Isbell darts in the gap. He's there to make the catch. Brennan's out, and that ends the inning. I think you've seen a little bit of the maturation process of Tanner Bike, right? Knowing when to use that strike breaking ball, when to really rip it, having faith in your catcher to be able to block the baseball, especially with a runner on base. Well, now would be one of those times for him to use that strikeout slider. There it was. Yeah. It was nasty. Well, he did it. He did it in the first inning to win, and he comes back to back. That's not an easy thing to do. One of the better hitters in the game. Benny Pasquantino. 2-2. Oh, oh, what baby. a stop by Jimenez. Oh, what a play. Andre Jimenez on a full flat-out dive into right field. Made the play on that screaming one hopper and still had time to tumble, roll, get up, and throw out Pasquantino. Garcia goes to third. Now there are two men out. Wow. Two and two the count. Bybee into the motion. Might go in here. They yes. do, and they strike him out with it. How about that pitch?
pitching by Tanner Bybee. Jose in his career against Brady Singer is batting 435 with two home runs. Now the 2 2. Swung on, hit high, hit deep to right, away, back and gone. Jose Ramirez hitting 435 with now three home runs off Brady Singer. And it's two to one Cleveland on Ramirez's 17th home run of the year. Oh my, did he get into that? 422 feet deep into the lower deck in right. Tanner Bybee back to work facing Freddie Fermin. Called strike three on the outside corner. You guessed it, another slider and a beauty from Tanner Bybee. Bybee with a, a real good rhythm going here in the middle innings. Swing and a miss. Got him with a slider again. Hey, that's seven strikeouts. And now after the base hit by Jimenez, the Guardians have runners on the corners with two outs. Jose Ramirez comes up in a key spot. Two to one Cleveland. The 2-0. Up Smart. the middle. He got a piece of it. The throw to first. Not in time. 3-1 Guardians. There is his 60th run batted in on the year for Jose Ramirez. Royals down three to one, top of the fifth inning. Here's the one one. Swung on, and there's a fly ball to shallow center. Charging in, Schneeman slides, makes the catch. Fine play by Daniel Schneeman coming in on a floater off the bat of Pasquantino. It just looks like a guy that's playing backyard baseball. Uh, where, where do you want to play? I don't know. I'll go over <laughs> here. All right, we need a guy over there. Okay, I'll go over there. That's right. Make plays. Do your job. It's beautiful. And Sandlin has been one of the best in the league when you come in for inherited runners. 21 inherited runners. Only two have scored. He's in that situation now. First and second and nobody out. Renfro lines it fair inside the line ready for mean will score MJ Melendez goes to third the Royals have the tying run at third base and the go ahead run at second and Renfro's on for a third time today and here's a third chance for Kyle Isbell to drive in a run the pitch and he swings pulls it first base Naylor throws home with a runner coming and the runner is out at home and MJ is adamant that Bo Naylor missed the tag that's a tremendous tremendous athletic Dive, slide, whatever you want to call it from MJ Melendez. After review, there is no blocking by the catcher. However, the call on the field is overturned. The runner is safe. Kansas City will keep his challenge. How about that? The Royals have tied the game. Kate Smith is the new Guardians pitcher. And he's coming into a tough spot. Michael Garcia will be at the plate with the go-ahead run at third base and only one out. Middle infielder sitting so that they could potentially turn a double play if you get an Adam Bowl. Right there you go. Ramirez goes to second. There's one on to first. It is an inning ending. Double play. Oh, my goodness. A diving stop at third by Ramirez. The runner at third never broke for home. This has been one wacky game. And now it's going to be pitcher number four on the afternoon for the Royals. And this is lefty Sam Long, who's only been a Royal for a couple of weeks, but he's done a very nice job. There's one out here in the bottom of the seventh in a 3 3 game, and that'll bring Josh Naylor to the plate. Here's a swing and a fly ball the other way, and left center toward the alley on the run, sliding and making a great catch is Kyle Isbell in the alley in left center field, just shy of the warning track. Boy, what a great read and jump. 0 and 2 on Brennan. Long comes set now deals and a swing and a miss and he strikes out Will Brennan to end the inning and strand that runner at first base another good job by Sam Long and we go to inning number eight and this is the fourth straight at bat where Kyle Isbell has come up with a runner in scoring position and there's a line drive base hit into right field Brennan's throw will arrive late and Kyle Isbell drives in his second run and the Royals lead for the second time today that's called clutch right there. Very nice. So now MacArthur's a strike away. Two balls, two strikes on Jose Ramirez. MacArthur delivers. Curveball, bounce to the right side. Lofton scoops it up, sets, throws to first in time. Royals win. They come from behind and defeat the first place Guardians by a final score of four to three.